September 29th, 2013. We're going to go back to 1989. There's an album that came back, it was, uh, came out uh, by Erasure. Uh, they out Wild. Uh, they did a tour, came through uh, Minneapolis there. And this is when we was living in the uh, Northeast, uh, right before we moved uh, moved up north. So they must have been turned in 90. 90. They came out in 89, probably the following year. Uh, 90. Because I remember being uh, in Northeast there when uh, the Twins won uh, the World Series the one year, and I think that was 91. And then we moved up, uh, moved up north in 92. But uh, it's interesting how you can uh, find a group and uh, get uh, get attached to their music. And uh, what I've always done is is that uh, Wild came out, and uh, at that same time I bought Wild. I bought uh, one of their earlier uh, uh, albums called The Innocence. Innocence? No, Two Ring, two ring Circus. Because it had uh, uh, songs, but it had uh, like four four live songs. So you, you got uh, some of the, that music off that uh, CD, and then you got a uh, sampling of some of their other uh, uh, popular songs. So uh, before the concert uh, came, uh, then, then I was able to listen to their new music, uh, some of their older music, and then uh, some of their... Uh, Best of music, uh, which was which was really really good because I went down went down and uh, was playing at uh, like the Orpheum Theater, which is a smaller smaller venue, and uh, went and and uh, got tickets at the door, and like the day the day uh, the day of. And got like a third third row. They opened up a section there and uh, got really good good seats. But uh, we listened to them. They've had a couple of a um, couple of albums out after, and, and a little bit of history about the, the group uh, Erasure is uh, that the founding founding member, one of the the guy. There's like two two. Two uh, two guys and their partners, and uh, one's a singer, which sung in a couple of the bands, and uh, one is a uh, the composer, the writer composer, which uh, was in uh, one of a popular band called uh, the Mode, and they were here at the uh, State Fair last or this this year, uh, but he was the uh, keyboardist, uh, synthesizer, composer of uh, that group back in the uh, 80s but they got together and then uh, started writing composing and, and uh, doing music so uh, to support them uh, found 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 them and started supporting uh, their music and really like uh, he's got a very unique uh, voice uh, plus uh, it was kind of uh, like the 80s 80s techno pop uh, the song I'm going to play is that called Piano Song. It's really slow and, and melodic. And it's off the Wild, the Wild album. But uh, I listened to, uh, there was a couple of, couple of albums that came out after that. I remember Chorus, uh, Being Up North. Uh, and there's another one after that. <sighs> through, the, through the 90s that we lived up there. So a lot of their music. Uh, I remember a lot of the time that I would uh, be traveling because I'd spend so much time on the road uh, that I would play their music uh, over and over because it's really uh, really good music to listen to and and uh, very emotional for me. Like even when I uh, uh, turned Devin on to the music, he really liked it as well. But uh, thinking thinking of those early days before, I was trying to think. Uh, I talked about last night about moving up north, 
but there was a little a speck of time uh, that we lived there in the north northeast, and even even that little uh, uh, sector of our lives, there's so much that happened uh, living in that uh, uh, little. It was a uh, kind of an older older house that the owner had um, had made into three different apartments. And uh, Gordon found one of his pictures there, and that's when he really had some really long, long hair. He was kind of a wild, uh, wild man. And uh, like I said, we had the shop in the in the alley there. We uh, found the garage and and worked on quite a few cars uh, there as well. We, there's a, if you look at our screen. Uh, there's a thread, a common thread that goes through uh, the years uh, that uh, automotive was, was uh, fi finding that uh, talent that we both shared, uh, that love of cars and, and being able to work on them and, and do the things that we did uh, was, was uh, very, uh, very... Uh, were very um, it, it congealed us it, it uh, formed, formed that uh, we, we both had a passion and to share that passion uh, experience that passion and live with that passion was uh, uh, something very uh, very good it was, it was, I think we both needed that and, and shared that and, and uh, we talked about that for, for days and days of all the cars and the own cars we worked on. Um, there's there's so many. So maybe uh thinking about the, what what I'm gonna be doing after this year expires, uh this daily video log. So I'm gonna have to uh, expand it and I think maybe next year I'll uh start uh, feeding in uh so tapping in some photos do a do a photo and then uh uh, some stories behind the photos. But at this point, uh, September is just about over, September 29th. And uh, then we head into October. Uh, Tross is going to be turning uh, 21 next month on the 15th. So, uh, should be a big, uh, a big uh, step, step for him, uh, entering into, uh, uh adulthood. Uh, it's a very, uh, I think it should. seems seems um, some people it uh, is is pretty momentous, but uh, I think he's pretty excited when he turned 18. Uh, but uh, 20, 21 is going to be uh, should be a good year for him. I see a lot of things happening in his life and uh, expanding his horizons. Uh, uh, should be a good good awakening awakening for him as well as, as with us uh, being a part of his life and, and pushing him into uh, uh, and guiding him into this adulthood but a lot of a lot of interesting things because uh, I turned uh, I turned 21 and in uh, 83 um, so a year after I moved up and uh, graduated, started doing uh, uh, electronics, got into cars, and uh, started to expand my horizons. That's when I really opened up and and uh, try to find out what my uh, niche uh, in life uh, is. What you, you know, what you're gonna do? What are you gonna do with your life? What uh, what interesting passions do you have? That uh, that you want to uh, to explore and uh, lock onto something that uh, you can turn into a career and uh, brings and brings money in and and uh, makes uh, makes a life uh, very uh, successful and uh, worth living. But anyway. Uh, the days that leading up, like I said, to before we moved to, north to Floodwood, uh, 
that's when we found uh, Pepper. Pepper came into our lives, and uh, she was with us for for those ten years. Uh, I know we buried buried her right before we uh, before we moved back, so we had her for a good uh, good ten years. That whole that whole lot, uh, that whole time that we was up there. Uh, I think that was uh, just she came to us and. And just at at that time, uh, and I mentioned that there's a story behind her, and and uh, she came she came to us, and uh, it was definitely a gift. And she's very much missed. But um, anyway, wild erasure. Um, we did uh, what was it? Uh, in the 90s, there when he was up uh, up north. They did a uh, an ABBA ABBA song uh, soundtrack, or they did all of uh, different songs uh, called Abbas Abbascape or something like that, and uh, very interesting. They also did some collaboration with other uh, people's songs. Uh, That was very good. So, uh, just a tremendous uh, catalog. I think they toured. Uh, they had some type of anniversary uh, in 2011. Uh, missed that. Uh, that's too bad. Wasn't paying too much attention. Just started to get into uh, uh, the music scene again here this last uh, this last year. So, uh, but they'll they'll be back. They're still they're still together and in making music. They had a new uh, I think they had a new uh, album come out like in 2011. So about every four or five years, they seem to uh, hit hit the road. I'd like to see them. Very very interesting. Uh, erasure. And uh, this is called the piano song from uh, Wild. So.